welcome back to IoT Projects Ideas. If you are willing to embed a microcontroller into your project but looking for something smaller and cheaper than Arduino where you don't require lots of input, output pins or code space, then Editine 85 is perfect for you. So today we will learn to build a mini weather station using DST double code sensor and Editine 85 microcontroller. Here we will build two versions of this weather station. In the first version, we will use GST2216 cross to I2C LCD display and ETtiny85. Whereas in the second build, we will use a 0.96 inch OLED display, GST2 temperature and humidity sensor and ETtiny85 microcontroller. Due to global warming, weather is now unpredictable. Weather can change our mood, feelings and mind too. Because unexpected weather sometimes can ruin our plans and schedules. Temperature and humidity monitoring system is very important for farmers. This type of small device can help to keep an eye on the growing crops. Thus, this can help in the field of agriculture. So, to predict the weather, we require a weather station. It is a basic device that can be useful for weather observation and data collection. Therefore, we are building a basic mini weather station with DST22 and ATTINY85. For monitoring temperature and humidity data, we can use either 16 cross to I2C LCD display or 0.96 inch SSD 1306 OLED display. In this project, we will connect the DST double to temperature and humidity sensor to the DG Spark 80 Tiny 85. From the digital pin of the DST sensor, we get temperature and humidity value, which is then sent to 16 cross to LCD display or 0.96 inch OLED display. So here, ATtiny85 microcontroller reads the data from DST sensor using DST library then sends those data to the display for monitoring system. We can further add a budget to make a temperature alert system. But in our project, we are using a minimal number of pins P0 to P2, leaving pins P3 to P5 open, so that we can easily plug in the USB cable to upload new program code without disconnecting anything. Pin 5 is mainly a reset input that sometimes works without issue as an input or output pin. But it doesn't always work due to low voltage and current capabilities. Circuit connection Now let's interface DST22 in I2C display with DG Spark 80 Tiny to 5. The circuit connection is fairly simple. Connect the ground pin of the DST22 sensor and display to the GND pin of 80 Tiny to 5. Now connect the BCC pin of the DST double to sensor to the 5V pin. Similarly, DST double to sensor output pin to P1 pin of ATtiny85. Lastly, connect the display STA pin to P0 and SCL pin to the P2 pin of DG Spark ATtiny85. You can follow the circuit diagram in table below to assemble the circuit. In our setup here, we are providing a 5V power supply through a USB port to power the LCD display. DST double to sensor and the ATtiny85 module. This mini weather station using DST double to and ATtiny85 has two different versions. So both will have different program code. The LCD display uses liquid crystal underscore i2c.es library whereas the OLED display uses tiny4koled.es. These libraries are modified to work with the ATtiny85. If you are getting errors because the program is not finding the correct library to use, simply copy the liquidcrystal underscore i2c.eh and liquidcrystal underscore i2c.cpp files from the DigiStorm download location to the same folder as the 8085 sketch. The standard dst.es library for reading the DST double to sensor works fine with the 8085. Mini weather station with the LCD finder program code. This is the final program code for the mini weather station using ATtiny85, DST22 and 16 cross to I2C display. Copy this code and paste it into your Arduino IDE. Mini weather station with OLED final program code. This is the final program code for the mini weather station using ATtiny85, DST22 and 0.96 inch I2C OLED display. Copy this code and paste it into your Arduino IDE. Before uploading the code, make sure you have set up your Arduino ID for the DigiSpark 8085 board. Watch our previous video to set up the Arduino ID for the 8085 board. Select DigiSpark default 16.5 MHz board from Tools menu. Also, select the programmer as Micronucleus and choose this COM port. 
Finally, press the upload button after compiling the code. Connect your DigiSpark Antitiny 85 board within 60 seconds. Wait for Micronuclears done. Thank you message for the successful upload of the program. Now it's time to test the weather monitoring system using the Antitiny 85 project. Gently provide some external heat to the DST22 sensor and you can see the result on the display. You can also get the project simulation link from the website. This is a very useful project and has a wide range of applications. If you like this tutorial, then share this project with your friends. If you need help, then comment down below. It's me Ashika signing off for today. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.